M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. On the left, we have the Bofeng DM1701. It's running the Open GD77 firmware. Now watch this. Menu, then we'll go up and down until we see the word satellite. Now we have entered our manual location. You do not need GPS. And then we'll select the green button and it says predicting and then it shows different satellites that are flying over and you do update this information using your software. You choose the satellite and look, you've got the satellite, then you go down, you've got the, the pass, the time, the UTC, elevation, and a bit more, and you even get the frequencies, frequencies with the Doppler shift, okay? So that's excellent, and we've always been impressed by that. Now, Anytone have taken a leaf out of the Open GD77 firmware's book, because watch this. With the new firmware version 3.04 now they haven't added this to the 578 yet but i'm sure they will um we can go menu uh down to settings uh radio set let's get it right actually no. menu i've literally just done this down to satellite select and then location, we're going to use fixed. Uh, go back, satellite. It does exactly the same thing. I, it, to me, it's identical. It loads the same information that you have to connect to your software. And if you just go in your software at the top, it says tools. Go to the very bottom and then it says satellite keps. It's a bit of an unusual one if you're not used to it. And I'll... I'll just fast forward, yeah, and look, we've got the ISS at the top there. You've got lots of other satellites you can look at. So if we go to select, and there you go, exactly the same. Scrolling down, Doppler shift, receive and transmit frequency. If we go back, back, well, now we'd have to select the ISS. So call my eyes, so there it is there. ISS is the next one. I think it is cool. Sorry, my eyes are just rubbish on that blue background. Why did I choose it? Go down and there's the frequencies shown there. They look the same to me, roughly. Um, so give it a go and come on, most of us have got an 878, you know, so get up upgrading your firmware. I've definitely made a very easy, clear video to update this. You download this, the programming software and the firmware, and then it's just click, click, click. Bye for now, 7-3.